Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for where I'm currently sat alongside your 2024 summer holiday. This here is a beautiful Ford Transit Custom Active Nugget Plus. So the Nugget Plus is the extended wheelbase with the toilet section at the back. You currently join me uh, where it is not only raining but we have uh, some lovely hail as well. So this can be an accurate representation of the British summer weather. So here we are outside under the lovely awning and using the uh, Westphalia chairs and table section. In this 20 minute video or so, I'm gonna take you around door to door, panel to panel, show you all around the living quarters, the two beds, the kitchen area, and all along the front as well. So now those rather fitting showers have passed, it's time to crack on with the exterior tour. So I'm going to start from the top. This here is a frozen white Ford Transit Custom Active Nugget Plus. That's the long wheelbase one. That features the 2-litre Eco Blue engine producing 187 PS of power transmitted through the front wheels through an automatic gearbox. The Nugget is registered on a 71 registration, meaning you're going to be taking Ford warranty with you until January 2025. The vehicle has done just over 9,000 miles, but like always, I get the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So like all of our walk around videos, we're going to arrive at the near side front bumper. And here I present to you the wonderful remote central locking key. One click on the unlock button is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps give other road users the ultimate visibility, so you're always going to be seen no matter the lighting condition. A quick disclaimer, they're not actually flashing in real life, that is just simply because of the frequency in which my camera records at. So inside those headlamps there are the by Xenon HID headlights there, so you've got some fantastic headlights which are complemented with front fog lights down the bottom. Front parking sensors trail all the way around that front lip on that magnetic grey front bumper. Front bumper there. Uh, we also have a driver assistance pack. So that includes things such as pre-collision assist. So that little dull bit underneath the number plate there is a front facing radar responsible for some of that. And I shall cover that in its entirety once we're on the dash in a moment. Starting to make ourselves around the front bumper, we eventually get to these beautiful 17-inch machine-cut alloy wheels. So machine-cut alloys give you the silver shiny face, in this instance the matte black just behind. The 17-inch alloys are fitted with Michelin tyres as standard, and again, whilst we have one poked out, I thought I'd just give you a good look at those, so in fantastic condition. Before we continue around the body of the vehicle, I'm just going to draw your attention to the windscreen. That there is a light sensor. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Further north, at the top section of that windscreen, we have a light sensor on the right-hand side, that is for the automated headlights. We have a traffic speed sign recognition camera in the middle. And to the left-hand side, we have a light sensor for the automated headlights. So plenty of automation going on, and I shall show you what they all do in a moment. Back down to the body of the vehicle, we have got a lovely contrast between the frozen white and the agar black mirror covers and again we have the black roof as well and the pop-up section is equally black so it makes that really beautiful two-way color scheme of the black and the frozen white so we're going to start to make ourselves around the vehicle now so we'll, whilst i'm here actually i'll just show you in detail this is the outside furniture area so the, the vehicle is supplied with two westphalia outdoor chairs with cup holders great place to put your beers uh, so again two lovely outdoor chairs and this outside table as well which is uh, has its home on the rear towel gate but I shall show you that in a minute but I just thought I'd leave it all set up and obviously you've got this lovely retractable awning there as well uh, definitely sheltered me from the rain shower a minute ago so anyway let's go back to the body of the vehicle so let's just get this out of the way for a second this stage of the video, I position myself in the offside rear. I get the camera nice and high up, and I just gently rock it side to side down the body, hopefully giving you a good understanding of the condition of all the wonderful body panels. Like so. Now we can just go back round to the offside rear wheel, giving you a good look at that. Starting to make ourselves around the rear bumper, we have rear parking sensors again, starting all the way around and then trailing around that bottom lip of the bumper. Those are complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. And again, I'll show you that on the sync module once we get there. 
So we can give the near side the exact same treatment. So again, starting off nice and high, it's going to gently rock the camera down the body of this nugget, like so. Beautiful. So now we have the near side rear wheel. Beautiful again. Michelin tyre fitted there. Now we can follow the side step all the way down to the near side front. Give you a good look at that. Just a very quick mechanics lesson. I know we've got a thousand and one things to talk about, but this is an Eco Blue engine. So that requires an Add Blue reservoir. We fill this up on a used car prep, so you don't have to worry about that for thousands of miles. But Add Blue can be bought in any petrol station, homeware shop such as B&Q, home base. That goes into a reservoir. That gets sprayed onto your exhaust gases, and in turn, that eliminates nitrous oxide, making this a Euro 6.2 ULES compliant vehicle. So it's good for the birds and the trees and everything in between. We'll do the living section after I go through all the dashboard controls. So that's effectively the exterior taken care of. And we'll have a look inside the back in a minute. So let's just do the driver and passenger seats before we do. So on the driver's door card, two electric windows and electric mirror function there. And with the folding mirrors ability as well. Uh, we have lovely deep filling door cards there. So you can put all your belongings in there, not a problem. Okay, so the Active comes with this beautiful Active pattern on the seating, so it's a part leather, part cloth design. So you get the Active cloth in the lower back and the base part of the seats. So these seats, they do go forward and backwards, of course. You do have manual adjustments, such as your rear tilt, height, front tilt, and forward and backwards. But these are also captain's seats. So these seats will quite literally turn around 180 degrees to face the other way. So when you are pulled up, parked up in the evening, uh, we can have a nice living room design. Again, refer to my photographs and you can see what I mean. So here yeah, these seats can spin around 180 degrees. But they are two-way heated down this little panel here as well. Now I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so please just bear with me for a moment. Okay, now inside the vehicle, standard key blade into the barrel, foot on the brake, turn around, and that gains us power to the vehicle. So the first thing uh, was the mileage, but it just disappeared off the screen. I think it was 9,200. We'll come back to that in a second. Left-hand side of the dash there is an RPM times 1,000, counting the revolutions of the engine or the crankshaft, also known as the output power of the engine. Down at the bottom there, we have a coolant temperature sensor, a fuel gauge, a gear select indicator on the right-hand side, an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. That's perfect if you're going over to the continent and you require kilometers an hour. In the middle, we have this digital driver display, and I can control that using the arrows up and down, return, and menu buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. First off, you're greeted with a digital speedo. Come down once into driver assistance. So this is the driver assistance pack that I mentioned outside the vehicle. That includes a blind spot assist monitor, pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition. We have the lane keeping system, driver alert, cross traffic alert, eco coach, cruise control, and speed limiter. As you can see, we have lots of fantastic software keeping you nice and safe whilst you're on the road. Then we go to your navigation tab, so when you have the sync navigation set, it's nice and easy to program and see the directions appear in front of you. Next into audio sources, phone connectivity and back to your settings. Just want to show you very quickly in vehicle settings, we have things such as your lighting, which is your auto high beam. Come down, remote start. So if you purchase this vehicle, download the Ford Pass Connect application on your mobile device. And uh, there is things such as remote starts. You can start the engine, uh, set the climate control, seats, and even the duration there. So it's a lovely bit of current technology. And wipers, that is for your rain sensing wipers. So that's a quick tour around the screen ahead of you. We do have selectable drive modes as well. So you can put it into an eco drive mode. So when you're on the motorway, it'll change up through the box a bit earlier, saving you a bit of fuel. So back around the steering wheel, the right hand side, again, the arrows controlling the screen. We have voice command, uh, pick up, decline, and previous and next song function there also. The right, uh, left hand side, beg your pardon, is where you'll find the buttons for the adaptive cruise control. So top left is the button for the adaptive part, so that will set the distance to the vehicle in front. Uh, then we have the cancel and we've got resume set plus and set minus in the middle with the standby and speed limiter found bottom right. A volume minus a plus and a mute button also features 
at the bottom of that cluster. Moving along now, these are the controls for the automatic gearbox. Can be considered a semi-automatic function because we have the plus and minus on the right hand side of the shifter. Simply you foot on the brake and you have the little release point at the back of the selector and you can bring it down to the relevant drive position. And so I'm just going to show you this special handbrake so it doesn't work like a normal handbrake. It's uh, a safety system so when you're in bed you don't accidentally knock the handbrake off. Um, so as you can see it's all floppy so you've got to bring it up, release the tension, then release it. That did confuse a couple of our drivers when collecting these vehicles. So whilst I've just removed the handbrake, pop it into reverse. And I'll just display to you very quickly the higher definition reversing camera and at the front at the top right you have your proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors these will give you an intermittent beep that will increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question and now I've displayed that pop you back into park and lift the handbrake once more uh, so on this cluster this is where you'll find all the controls for the heating ventilation and air conditioning very simple fan speed to the left temperature to the right including max air conditioning and max demist. At the bottom there we do have the electronically heated windscreen, we have different flows events found in the middle, recirculation and air conditioning to the right and your rear demist to the left. I'm just going to talk about charging quickly, uh, there is an abundance of USBs on this vehicle, uh, just very quickly the driver has a USB-A port and a 12 volt socket just there. Down on this panel here we have another USB-A and another 12 volt socket. At the back of the handbrake, I'll show you that in a minute, we do have two more USBs there, perfect for that row of three seats just there. Anyway, before we talk about USBs, let's talk about this beautiful SYNC 3 module. So you click on the home button very quickly, this is the home page if you like. We then have your audio found bottom left, turn that down, don't want any copyright issues here. We have AM, FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Exiting it out of there, we can go to phone. This is where you can connect your phone via Bluetooth connectivity. Navigation is found in the middle of the screen. A fantastic forward navigation system. And yes, it does include your European maps as well. Um, I think I've just confused it a little bit, haven't I? There we are. But yes, forward navigation, fantastic. Into your settings page there, we have things such as your sound setting, clock, Bluetooth settings, and all the things you'd come to expect. This uh, screen is fully supportive of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So whichever software you have on your mobile phone, plug it in using one of those USB ports, either that one or the one ahead of you, and it shall mirror your phone onto the screen here. For example, I am iPhone, so if you're referring through my photographs, you shall see Apple CarPlay connected. Apple CarPlay is a fantastic system, which means you're not going to be using your phone whilst you're driving. We won't explain it all today, but you do have uh, third-party navigation apps that you can use. So if you don't like the Ford navigation for whatever reason, you can use Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, and they're all compatible on the screen. I'm a fan of Ford navigation, never let me down. I'm a bit of a fanboy. So that effectively is the SYNC module without wasting too much time. Right, now let's give you a quick look at the front seat there as well. Wonderful. Okay, let's just turn the vehicle off now. Oh, wonderful, it started raining again. But that's not gonna spoil the video. So let's go to the back of this wonderful Ford Nugget Transit Custom Plus Plus Nugget. Anyway, underneath the camera there is the release point for the tailgate. So I'm gonna try and do this in the most logical way possible. Starting on the tailgate itself. This is the home for the outdoor leisure table. It simply clips in using these nice little clip designs. Um, you've been on your, your walk, your, you run anything you like you smell a little bit just quickly here is the winder for the front awning there I'll just uh, leave that there for in a minute so I don't forget okay back to your smelling story um, you smell um, you don't say it as a fence I really don't mean it as an offense but that is because we have your shower shower sticks to the rear window there let's put it down quickly and the other end connects in just here and now as you can see by the controls we do have a hot water boiler on board so that is a hot and a cold system once you're done with it you can unplug your shower da, 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 and place that back into your storage area again like so so that is your shower bathroom area doesn't stop there because let me just pull over 
It's, everyone wants a bit of privacy. Everyone wants a bit of privacy. So the plus is different to the regular nugget because of this section here. And this is the bathroom toilet area. As you can see, we have a throne, a fully functioning toilet, flushable toilet, and there are all the chemicals to clean it and everything else. Uh, underneath this cover here, you can see the actual removable system as well. So um, some people, well, everybody needs a toilet. So this nugget has exactly that, a toilet. Uh, the other side, we do have some more space, storage space. Maybe this is where you can put your outdoor leisure chairs. That's a good idea. This panel here, we have a 230 volt, 150 watt plug socket. Just above that, we have a QC 3.0. 3.0 USB, so that's a USB A, but that delivers 3 amps of charging. And just above it is a Type C uh, 5 amp uh, CPD charger, which is the rapid charger. Up there we have light switches as well. But let's just uh, close or open the door to uh, let us in to the vehicle. Now, this house is your house, and your house is mine, and all of that. So let's get the docks off. Let's jump inside the vehicle right okay we're now in the kitchen in the kitchen of this nugget plus underneath here we have to a lovely little sink I might go to half a zoom so I think you might be missing half of this uh, so we have a lovely little sink a nice little tap there as well and once you're done with it it all folds away so I'm gonna call that the external sink section here is a 40 litre cool box fridge refrigerator Westphalia 40 litre fridge and yes you do have your little holder as well so you can prop up the fridge I wish I knew that when I was doing my photos so 40 litre fridge two hob gas burner so you can there is a gas bottle area underneath here I'll come back to that in a minute the sealed unit it takes any kind of gas bottle plug it in then you have your two gas burner perfect for your pastas your curries and Anything else you want to cook yourself whilst you're uh, out and about in this wonderful world. Next up we have your sink area. So again we have a fresh water tank and a grey water tank as well. So you have the best of both worlds. So this is a fully functional kitchen area. Before we progress any further, on the mat storage. Storage section under there. More storage under there. And if the ladder wasn't in the way... We do have a bit more storage under there, and that's where you can obviously see the part of the fridge, and we do have your water um, supply there as well. So that's how you turn off the taps to the water supply. So if you're filling it up or emptying it, that's where the major taps are. And obviously you need something to put your knife and forks. You have a lovely sliding drawer as well. This is a wonderful system because it's got this lovely brushed metal in here. This looks absolutely incredible. And as I said, we have the under LED lighting as well, and it's got some very special features. So if I just turn around quickly, we have this Domitech, Domitic, however you want to pronounce it, control panel for all of the essential heating, water, and lighting. So if I give you a quick tour around here, first off, we have your water levels. So obviously we're not going to store the vehicle with water in it because it will go horrible. So this is where you can see your fresh water and grey water in there. As you can see in the middle section, we can turn that off, on, turn the taps on, turn everything on, turn everything off. Fantastic. Next up is your battery. This is where you can see your battery percentage. As you can see, we currently have 67% battery left in there. Next, I'm coming out of there, going to the heater section. So this is where you can see the temperature of the heating, You've got the comfort and everything like that. So you can adjust that. I really do like this control panel. It's very, very flush. Uh, now into your cool box, so your fridge, where you can turn it on, set your temperature as well. Um, so yeah, it's a wonderful little control panel. And next up is your lighting. So the lighting, uh, very custom. You can custom it to your preference. You can turn it on and off to begin with, which is always good. Uh, select the brightness. You can dial it all the way down if required as well. So setting the ambiance for the evening after your wines, you can dial that down. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't like the bluey color there. Uh, if you go into the color temperature, you can turn that up and make it a lovely warm color also. So it's very... 
and you can make this to your preferences it's a lovely control panel there it's, as you can see nice and easy to use as well it also shows you the in and outside temperatures wonderful so that's the control panel itself let's now go on to talk about some bedding steps so if you are short it's fine i don't i'm six foot and i don't want to get up there without a ladder this lovely little westphalia ladder system that will take you up into this beautiful double bed up here so we do have the lovely spring design underneath there a nice memory foam mattress as you can see is in lovely condition um, the bed after you're done does pop up as well unfortunately guys i've only got two hands so i'm not going to so i was right i wasn't going to do it in this video but like magic the bed is now up so simply have clips on the right and the left hand side so once the bed is in the up position as you can see we have that slight fold there so it goes up and back clip it in and that is the bed sorted then as you can see that increases the height or headroom for the living quarters so i've just set this up into the double bed configuration but if not you still have the standard bench of three seats these two chairs turn forward we have the living room table that goes in the middle and when you're sitting around eating your dinner you don't feel claustrophobic because it's increased head room it honestly is a gigantic volume of space inside this nugget so we'll have a look at the double uh, second double bed in a second uh, we've covered the control panel there but again we have this lovely little wardrobe section here so you can fold all your clothes away we have another storage section down here so maybe this is good for your welly boots and things such as that another cupboard there at the bottom we have this deep filling storage section just here as well so it's got this lovely little thing just drops down as well as you can see every window has a curtain built into it so you can clip the curtains back so it's going to give you a nice bit of privacy and let all that light coming in in the morning so we're going to start to make our way through the little corridor section there um, down to your right hand side supplied is the Westphalia umbrella so now we are into the second bed section so again we have the two berth above us and a two berth down in this section so this as you can see folds perfectly flat all the way through so in the name of customer satisfaction I'm just going to have a quick lay down so uh, for reference I am over 6'1 in height and uh, again my feet aren't even all the way back there but hold on a minute wonderful so as you can see even with my long legs there is plenty of room for two people to sleep here rather comfortably so I'm just going to jump off the bed very quickly and uh, I'm just going to pop my camera down for two seconds just so I can put the bed back in its upwards position like so thank you for your patience underneath this little bench here so when you pull the bed upwards is additional storage so again this does slide all the way back you lose that middle section as well that there is the leg for the dining room table and the table currently is just propped up over there that yellow cable is to charge the leisure batteries again we're on about seven uh, 68 percent after this video i'll go put it on charge as well there's also the full screen for the front windscreen there as well so that shuts it all up and gives you a nice amount of privacy inside and worth noting these are iso fixing seats so you have two iso fixing so you can clip the kiddie seats in keeping them nice and secure as well i just want before i go to so show you this control panel so we can raise and lower the brightness and turn off and turn on lights in different sections so we have light switches there so a lot of questions also get asked about this I don't know how easy this is going to be to show you with one hand but I shall try my best so underneath the the foot section of the bed are these little wooden panels and this is where the fresh the wastewater is kept and under that one there is where your gas bottle is kept as well so it's a gas tight seal around there as well and so you're not going to get any fumes of gas at all but that just runs the two-way burner system and obviously you get your fresh water and grey water there as well so i just thought i'd show you where that's all kept and under there is your master on off the electricity and that is there your water pump so that's about it for me today i'm off for a nice little snooze thank you so much for watching this video hopefully i've explained a few things about how the ford nugget all comes together so thanks for watching 
please like subscribe if you have any nice comments leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching goodbye for now